Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a little different. We're not at our house. Where are we, guys? Nana. Why are we at Nana's? Sleepover. 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 Why else am I here, though? To what sit a, up a turkey blind. To sit up a turkey blind. That's, That's right. What's called a turkey rhino? Blind? It's a rhino blind, Mazzy. That what is it? Ranger and I are going to sit inside when we turkey hunt in the is morning. It the so Ranger right. and I are going to be hunting right over there tomorrow morning while you guys are still sleeping, probably. Does that sound good? Because huh? you're going to be here. At what time are you going to be waking up? Uh, we're going to be back there at daylight. I don't know what time you're going to wake up. I have no idea. I'll have to look it up. I wake up really early. All right. Well, you guys, like five. you guys be good for Nana, okay? I'm going to go set up the blind. Okay. All right. We'll see you later in the video. Bye. Bye. So it is a beautiful evening. I couldn't get through this gate fast enough to show you guys these uh, geese. A pair of geese right here coming up to the pond. And... Uh, it is just beautiful, quiet. The cattle are out there grazing in the other pasture over there. So, oh, there's some ducks on the pond too. Let me get on them ducks. It's not duck season, it's turkey season tomorrow, but we did get a shot of some ducks today. All right, I better hurry up and get back there before it gets dark. So I made it in about as far as I can drive because look at this wet patch and this is where the hogs have been rooting up and tearing stuff up. So I'm going to uh, get the Rhino 180 blind out. Uh, the reason we didn't set this one up is because the cattle were in here and we didn't want them to mess with anything. So I think we'll be good now. I think the cattle are in a different area um, and even if we just leave it up for a few days they shouldn't mess with it. But packing in the Rhino 180 isn't a big deal because it is super lightweight and easy to manage. So I see the spot I want to set up. It's right over there by that tree. You get through this mess. If, if I would have tried to drive through that, I would have been finished. So we are also going to set up right behind the cedar tree. The um, turkeys about um, daylight come from that direction and walk this way. It's kind of their normal routine. And we're going to be trying to call them in. We've got a box call. We've got several calls that we're going to be using. So I need to get set up before it gets dark. So let's get it done. The Rhino 180 see-through blind takes ground blind hunting to a whole new level. The unique two-way mesh system prevents wild game from seeing in while allowing you, the hunter, to see out crystal clear without obstruction. The Rhino 180 also features an oversized zipperless door. You can easily adjust your shooting window with Rhino's silent slide window technology. This blind can comfortably hold up to three people and make setup takedown a breeze. So it doesn't take three men to set it up, even though it is a three-man blind. And this 180 mesh, um, I'm going to climb inside real quick and show you guys. So you can look over there, see my tripod. Uh, we have really low light right now, but um, we'll be able to adjust our windows and stuff in the morning as we see fit. But right now we've got it set up and ready to go. Another great thing about the um, Rhino Blind is this silent slide window technology. And uh, I can show you more on tomorrow when we're on the inside. But it is awesome. It's quiet. You don't have to worry about um, making a bunch of noise when you're using your blind. So I got it set up and ready. And in the morning, Ranger and I will be hunting in this blind. So we won't be able to talk a whole lot. So I'll tell you right now, if you're interested in a Rhino Blind, Check out the link. It's going to be down in the description. All the information will be there about the 180 and the Rhino 500 that we have set up on another place here on the property. So if you're interested in either of those, check them out. They're great products. 
So this is the next morning. It's about 6, 10 a.m. Ranger, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. You think you're gonna call one in? Mm -hmm. All right. So this is our first turkey hunting experience. So let's see how it goes. way off in the distance but uh, we thought we heard a gobble so we're gonna give it about every five to ten minutes and uh, I'm gonna give it again So it's about eight o'clock in Ranger. What's it doing now? Windy. It has turned really windy. So uh, we probably heard uh, gobblers for about the first 30 to 45 minutes. And then the wind started picking up and we, we haven't really been able to get them to respond. So, so I think the wind's probably gonna hurt us a little bit. I don't think they'll probably wanna move as much, but Ranger's still having fun and uh, still enjoying the hunt. So we had a great time hunting, but it got really windy, didn't it? After about 30 minutes or 45 minutes after daylight. Um, and that's when we were really starting to hear the toms uh, yelling at us. So unfortunately, we are going home empty handed today. But Ranger, did you have fun? Was your first hunting at turkey hunting experience worth it? Yeah. All right. And we love so unfortunately, Ranger did not get a turkey during the youth hunt. It was only two days. But the good news is the regular turkey season lasts um, 30 days and he'll have another opportunity to go. So we won't get to on this video, but maybe um, on another one, we'll catch up with you guys. Also, Ransom is really, really wanting to go. Uh, they have been watching YouTube videos about turkey hunting, about calling turkeys and all kinds of stuff like that. And um, they're ready to, to go back and try again. We have um, two or three things to do. First of all, Shelby has a vet appointment. So she has her annual um, appointment. 
her and Mr. Jingles. Uh, they're gonna get rabies vaccines and things like that. And uh, today's the day for that. So I might bring you along for that. Also, our neighbor, I know you guys probably can't see it, but back here, across this, from this house that you can see, on the other side of the road, our neighbor's getting dozer work done, and they have a couple of kids um, around the age of Little Bear. So they brought over a baby rabbit yesterday. The dozer work that they were doing um, disturbed the little rabbit's home, and they asked if we would take it and try to nurse it along until it's um, big enough to do something else. So, where are you at, little Thumper? Oh, there he is. So Thumper, I gave um, Thumper, I'm gonna call him Thumper, that's officially his unofficial name. But I gave Thumper some alpaca fiber to kind of make a nest in. And Thumper has water and grass and a little bit of grain. Hey buddy. I told the kids that sometimes wild rabbits don't make it simply because they're used to having mama and there we go. And right now, little Thumper does not have his mama. So let me get out here in the light where you can see. That's Thumper. And Thumper, um, like I said, is a little guy. As you guys know, we've raised rabbits before. Uh, we raised meat rabbits. I wanna go ahead and put him down. So you can see I gave him a little nest. He has a little dirt. Um, there's his water. And he has the run of this whole um, other side of the chicken brooder but he's not using it. He's just gonna use this little spot over here. And while I'm out here, I better give you guys an update on the chicks. All 32 of them is what I count, are doing great. And uh, yeah, they're all growing. They're already getting bigger. I have to fill that feeder up at least uh, once a day and they're doing awesome. So I told the kids, usually if you find baby rabbits in the wild, you leave them alone. You wanna fix their nest, say you stumble across it, you wanna fix their nest back, leave them be, because a lot of times mama will come back and take care of them. But in this case, um, they completely destroyed the habitat with the bulldozer because they're clearing a spot for a, a new home to be built. And uh, there were several siblings to Thumper. The siblings did not make it, unfortunately. Um, and they just didn't have the heart to leave Thumper there all alone knowing that he most likely would be destroyed or something like that happened. So I don't want to do too much human exposure. The kids aren't going to love on him a whole lot. They petted on him a little bit, but we mainly want to nurse him along till he's big enough to make it on his own. That's our plan. Uh, we're no experts by any means on uh, raising wild bunnies, but we're going to do what we can with little Thumper and hopefully he will make it. I told the kids also don't get their hopes up. Sometimes when you take them away from their mama, they don't survive. Um, also, I'll give you guys a quick update on Little Bear. Unfortunately, Little Bear caught a little bug and he has been under the weather. So I went this morning and got a new stroller. Um, I'm hoping that this new stroller will help push him around the farm. Uh, it has the big wheels as opposed to the little wheels. So you can see the big wheels and um, even though Little Bear doesn't feel good, one thing that he has continued to love to do is go out in the stroller. So I'm going to use my new knife here. Don't get to use it that often. Well that's disappointing. I was hoping to just pull it out and pop it up, but it looks like some assembly may be required. So I'm going to get this thing together and uh, see what um it looks like so we can uh get little bear pushed around in, in the stroller also we have a 5k coming up at bradford um letting the lions loose 5k i'm going to be running in it and as long as he's feeling good i'll be pushing little bear in this new stroller it's another reason i wanted it so i'm gonna So another thing that Little Bear loves is to go for a ride in the car. Something about it soothes him. I didn't really remember um, how tough it was having a little toddler, but it's really tough having a sick little toddler. But we're making it, we're doing okay. Um, Cassie wanted to take him for a little drive. I wanna go ahead and finish up, but you can see it's going together pretty easy. So the stroller is finished. So this is a little different than the last one we had. It has little flashing lights on it. 
That way if you're out, I guess at dawn or dusk, you get to be well seen. And um, the main thing we needed though was these big tires. So we have a stroller right now that we got um, whenever we uh, brought Little Bear um, home with us and it just does not cut it going over rough terrain. So this should be much better. So I'm running out of time. I only have about 20 or 30 minutes and I gotta go find Fat Cat so we can get him to the vet. Sometimes he likes to come out here and uh, watch for mice on these hay bales. Oh, Mr. Jingles. Mr. Jingles. Hey. What are you doing up there, Mr. Jingles? You've got a vet appointment, dude. So there you go. Mr. Jingles has been found. I'm gonna go get a pet taxi. And I might have to jump up on those hay bales and retrieve him because... I'm gonna use my old block target here. As a... Booster to jump. I've got my pet taxi. Mr. Jingles, what are you doing? Hey, Kiki. Buddy. Okay, thank you for coming to me. Mission accomplished. Hey, donkeys. How are you, girls? All right. Now we've got to get Jingles to the vet and Shelby. Oh. <sighs> Mr. Jingles, I'm sorry, baby. It'll be okay, though. I just don't want you to get away. That's the only reason you're in there, okay? All right. So Shelby is a little bit scared, but that's okay. In the car several times, Cassie taking her to um, the groomer to get groomed. But today, she's going to the vet, and uh, so far, so good. So we made it home and everybody did good. All right, Mr. Jingles, you come on out, buddy. You're home. Come on, you're home, baby. Mr. Jingles is a healthy cat. He weighs 17 pounds. Uh, the vet said he must be eating a lot of those birds that are out in that barn to be that big. And Shelby, come on, Shelby. Oh, <laughs> Shelby. Shelby can't get out of that truck fast enough. Hey, you're home, baby. You're home. You're home. I told you it wouldn't be that bad. So it's always good to get the vet um, appointments over with and get them current. Uh, look, Joe, Shelby would not eat her treat. You want it? But it's also good to make sure they're current on their medications. One thing I know people have asked before, what do we use for our dogs? Um, we use this Brevecto Chew. It works well. Um, we've also used Frontline, Frontline Plus. Um, the stuff they sell at Walmart, they use a sprinkle on their backs. All of it seems to work. Um, I got that today just because I was at the vet. But yes, we do use flea and tick medication. And even on the cats, especially our cats, because they're not your normal house cat. They are out and about. Um, on the farm and like i said they're catching wild birds they're eating mice um uh, all of our animals are active outside and so we make sure they're taken care of so cena <laughs> you, you having a hard time getting out of there come here baby i got something for you so this is the best part they have a uh, no problems taking that medicine they actually seem to like it. So that's the thing, it's the easiest part about um, the chewable flea and tick is they take it no problem. And I have more good news. Little Bear is feeling much better or at least um, willing to come outside and do stuff. 
So we're checking out the ducks and turkeys, aren't we, buddy? Huh? You gonna tell everybody hi? Looks like you got food on your toe. Shelby, look, there's food. You wanna clean it up? <laughs> Is that tickle? Is that tickle? Yes, Tina, I hear you. Hey, Tom. All right, so, Ransom, how was school today? Good. What did you learn? Uh, something. You don't remember, do you? Uh -uh. All right. Well, the boys came home and they instantly came outside and started doing some golf swinging. You like golf, Rangers? Yeah. You gonna play golf next year? Will you be old enough? Yeah. All right, let's see Ranger swing. He's been working on it. You want to see mine? Of course we want to see your swing. Uh, Do you even have to ask? Little Bear wants to see it. <laughs> oh my. Is that scary, Little Bear? All right. There you go, that was a good hit. Rabbits, typically wild rabbits will get mean or kind of wild after a little bit. The boys don't know where the rabbit's at. They're going over there to the rabbit hutch. But uh, <laughs> now they're running back. But uh, anyway, so we have, we've had consultation from somebody that's done it before and uh, we don't have any intentions of keeping this rabbit long-term or trying to make it, um, oh, what would you call it? Uh, domesticated? Uh, because it's a wild rabbit and it was raised in the wild and we'll try to keep it that way So the boy said they just not in here. We don't see it. We don't see it. Where's it at? Well, it is Okay, so you don't see it. Yeah. It's right There You guys know that rabbits in the wild they they stay inside a little um, thing most of the time can I hold it? So you can hold it so you can hold it and then we'll, daddy will probably hold it in this lap when we do it But what we'll do is see that I'll get its mouth open and then it will start putting its feet uh, Front feet on the ends of this and it starts trying to suck on it a little bit and when it does I real slowly just barely push okay. Can you try? Um, not right now. I need to hold it just right So Cassie came out here to make fun of me and my rabbit What are you making fun about? This the husband asked Gary, he said yes, but the wife asked me first and I said no. You wanna know why I said no? Why? I thought I'd get in trouble. Well, I said yes because the um, they were really worried about it and some people can't handle um, little bunnies not making it. But I'm gonna do the best I can to take care of them. And if he doesn't make it, I understand why. Note, next time I bring something home, you guys remind Gary he brought home a wild rabbit. Okay, listen. <laughs> this wild rabbit, Thumper. I'm just messing with you. Thumper is now at home. See him? If Thumper comes over here and thumps my chickens, you're all in okay. trouble. Okay, so this is another thing. Cassie's worried that Thumper's going to get in there and start eating her chickens. He's smaller than your chickens. I, those, got teeth. those little dinosaurs would scare him to death, okay? Thumper, it's going to be okay, I promise. You eat them, I'll eat you. I wanna, yeah! I wanna get him covered back up. Kinda. He like he likes the cover and he likes the corner. So he's got grass with there's a little bit of grain in there on the bottom. He'll find it, he'll eat it, he'll do his thing. And hopefully Thumper will do just fine and not only survive but thrive so we can turn him loose to be with his wild rabbits again. Leave him, leave him out there, leave him wild. Hopefully it works out, we'll see. What do you think, Ranger? What? You think Thumper's gonna make it? Mm -hmm. Oh, the babies, all the baby chicks. See, we don't wanna handle him a whole lot. Now he came over there, see he's over here by his grass. Hey, Thumper. Hey, Thumper. And he's been eating because there's a little blade of grass in his water. And uh, he had all kinds of little paths he had went in over here in his uh, alpaca shavings or alpaca uh, fur, so alpaca fleece. So there's Thumper. Hopefully he does just fine.
Well, it's time for our daily Easter egg hunt. Oh, Shelby snuck by. She likes to come play with Zena. But Rowdy's up talking to the donkeys. Rowdy, what are you doing over there? Rowdy. He just wants a tree limb. But gonna walk around, look for some eggs. Been trying to stay on top of finding them. Rowdy, look at him. He just wants some eggs. Tina. So there's some right there. We got a turkey and turkey. So two turkey eggs and I'm pretty sure the smaller one on the right is Tina's and the huge one is Tesla's because someone keeps laying a really big one. Did y'all see that? He just fell. Rowdy, let me see if I can help you out, bud. Here. I'm gonna end up busting the eggs trying to... Rowdy, there you go. There's not gonna be any leaves so far up. I mean, I guess it's already like that. See? Bear, bear, bear. <laughs> All right, so go look for some duck eggs now. Let's see what we find. The ducks are under that hay bale coming out now. It's probably where they're laying theirs. Hazel, how are you and Annie doing? There's Annie. She's the cutest little thing. Annie, you doing all right? Huh? So yesterday, somehow a duck got in the pen with our lambing, in our lambing pen, and it, there was three eggs in there. They're still in there, let's go in and get them. Um, I got the duck out, but I was in a hurry. I didn't get the eggs, but that was her first day in there. How was there three eggs? Either, I have been told that, sorry, I'm trying to hold these eggs and the camera. But I've been told that Indian runner ducks can lay two eggs in one day. Okay, now there's four. That's weird. Look at that. There's four eggs in there. I'm pretty sure there was three yesterday. <coughs> hey, be nice. But, how am I going to do this? Hang on. And you don't need to send me anything to collect egg eggs in. I have things to collect eggs in. I just don't ever think about it. Um... But I've heard that they can lay more than one egg a day. Hang on, I gotta do this. But I really think a duck has got to be getting in and out without me realizing it. So they're all out of there today. If more come in, then I know something weird's happening. So the ducks were under this hay bale, but I don't see any eggs. So I guess that's it. We got four duck eggs, two turkey eggs. Not bad for a little Easter egg hunt. So I tried to make a call earlier today because I had my thoughts, um, suspicions that keeping a wild rabbit, even if you're only going to rehabilitate him for a little bit, might be illegal. So I tried to call the game warden earlier and they did not answer their phone. So I just tried again and I got an answer and my suspicions were correct. Um, our local game warden here in Mays County said it is illegal to keep a wild rabbit and even if your just plans are to um, keep him in, until it's time to leave. So I had to break the news to the kids. They're not very happy about it. Um, and that's reality though. There's laws that govern wild animals and whatever the law says goes. So what's next? I have to take um, Thumper to Wild Heart Ranch in Claremore, Oklahoma. It's the closest licensed rehabilitation place um the um, gentleman on the phone from wild heart ranch he yeah he moved over to the corner didn't he he asked me how big his um, spot was on his head and i told him that about how big it was oh and he said that when that white spot disappears the mom abandons the babies so um the babies will be abandoned at that point and when the mom abandons the babies then you it's don't have to gone, worry about it. No, it's not gone. That's why 
he said it still needs care. So he still needs to take care of it and make sure it's safe until it gets bigger, okay? okay. All right, you guys want to say your goodbyes? All right, it doesn't need to be handled too much. We just need to let it let it um, come in here and kind of hang out. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to take it over to his new home, okay? Can we get a new baby bunny? We did, hey, listen, we did all we can. We're not going to get any new bunnies right now, but if you want to take care of bunnies and you want to feed them every day, we might get some in the future, okay? All right, let me put him back in his burrow, in his little spot. Daddy was looking forward to raising Thumper up two or three weeks. I think he would have been big enough at that point to um, to go on and do his thing. But that is just um, the reality of it. There are rules and there are laws. We can keep domesticated animals all day. We can keep all that we want. I think Shelby's dead. You think Shelby's, <laughs> Shelby is sleeping, okay? Um, but whenever you have a wild animal, it is best to call your local Department of Wildlife um, official and clear it with them. So that's what we did. Not exactly the answer that the kids wanted, but that's the answer that we got. And as you guys know, we're gonna try to do everything we can to follow the rules. So unfortunately that left Mazzy in tears. Um, she was not uh, happy about Thumper having to leave, but that's the reality of it. Whenever um, you do have a wild animal, you have to follow the rules. So I'll be bringing him over there tomorrow. That won't be on this video, but maybe on the next one, I'll give you guys an update on Thumper and um, how it goes. So before we end the video, we did have a few packages that came in the mail we wanted to share with you guys. The first one is from Linda Kitts, and she sent us some sunflower seeds. These are giant sunflower seeds, Ransom. So they are um, mammoth sunflower seeds. You think we can grow some as tall as her? So here's a picture of Linda and her sunflower seeds. And you can see Linda, hang on, right there by my thumb is where she's at. And she is five foot tall. So that is Linda. She's about as tall as Ranger. And look how tall her I'm sunflower seeds. five, two, or three. Oh, Ranger's five, two, or three. I'm sorry. Uh, I was a couple inches off. But those sunflowers are about twice as tall as her, maybe nine foot or 10 foot tall. Is that cool? I feel like we can grow them up to the power lines. You so we'll so? try to put those sunflower seeds to use. What do you guys want to say? Thank you. So we got something else and we got a lot of them. So Ranger got some egg cartons. These are from Phyllis in Lincoln, Nebraska. And I got some egg cartons right here that Ransom's holding. They are from Sh Michelle Human. So these are plastic ones. And so along with the egg cartons, we also got some farm fresh eggs. These are like little instructions telling you um, handling instructions and also has a collection date place. So I'm gonna check in with our local food pantry and see what they do exactly after I give them to them, if they wash them or if they try to tell people about um, farm fresh eggs. If they tell them about them, then I'll go ahead and give them. So Cassie's leaving, let's wave goodbye. Bye mom. So she's gotta uh, run an errand, but um, what do you guys wanna say for the egg cartons? Thank you so much. We do appreciate it and we will definitely put them to use. We have um, something from Miss Joyce Randall. She sent us all these postcards and she also sent us some um, maps and vineyard things of Oregon. So when we travel to Oregon on our 50 states in five years, we'll have something to, to go um, see Mazzy, some ideas. But she also sent Mazzy something very special. I want to hand it to Mazzy right now. It's a beautiful cross necklace. You want to show them? Mm -hmm. So it's beautiful. Oh, I think it matches your uh, fingernails that you got going on there. Well, I'm not done with them yet. Okay, Mazzy's working on her fingernails. So this says, Mazzy, this cross is approximately 75 or 80 years old. Love, Joyce Randall. So Mazzy, what do you think of that beautiful cross necklace? It's beautiful, yeah. All right, so you thought of you. She thought you would really enjoy it. It's mm. very old though, so you want to make sure and take care of it, okay? I'm church today. You're going to wear it to church? All right. Well, that's where we're heading. We're going to head to church in just a few minutes. So, Mazzy, what do you want to tell Joyce for your hair necklace? Thank you. So, we do have to get off of here. I'm going to be taking the bigger kids to church. Cassie will be staying home with Little Bear this evening, she said. Um, she's going to try to relax. 
Luckily, he is starting to feel better, so he had some signs of feeling better this evening. So hopefully by tomorrow or the next day, he'll be 100% back to normal. So don't forget, if you guys are interested in rhino blinds, check out the link. It's going to be down in the description. You'll be able to get one for yourself. We hope you have a great day, and God bless.